Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another video and this time it's not a ROM review, it's an installation guide for Archie Droid 1.7.3. Now, uh, for those who are not familiar with Archie Droid series, it's this awesome lineup of ROMs. There are two versions, that's one is V2 and one is V1. And I have already made a VR and installation guide for V2, which has um, pretty much same things. But V1 is based on stock Samsung firmware, whereas V2 is based on uh, aftermarket firmware like Cy uh, CyanogenMod, and the latest one, the latest V2 is based off of uh, OmniROM. So that's the main difference. So I wanted to give V1 a try and this is the latest one v1.7.3 which is based on the mk6 firmware which is the latest uh, bug fixed uh, firmware from samsung so let's get into it so let's flash it it does have an aroma package which is awesome it has it gives you a lot of customization and a lot of options so you see <laughs> this is archidroid so i'm not fooling you okay first of all the version is 1.7.3 december 16th so yeah pretty cool let's go next you get a bunch of uh, language selection so you can have what or like what language you want to use so I'm going to go with English so that's pretty cool you have a change log which shows you what changes has been made in the latest version so that's really great for you guys to know what all of the changes from the ROM is from the um, aroma package itself so pretty cool next we have a terms of use condition which no one really reads you have a third party uh, agreement which is this one you can read that if you want uh, that's because it does ha contain a lot of third party apps for you guys to choose from now here we have a uh, please select installation preset we have a preset to use custom previously previous preset and bare bones bare bones like it doesn't include any bloodware uh, previous preset if you have already installed some ROM it detects what uh, the same ROM Archeroy it detects what all are there and if you are upgrading you just need to select this and go for it custom is for you to customize everything so I'm going to go with custom to show you guys everything now first option is kernel option you have a bunch of kernels available Boeyfla kernel, Yank kernel, Devil kernel and stock so each kernel has its own advantages Devil kernel has a uh, dual boot and things like that it's really specific uh, you can google that if it will take an eternity to talk about everything so I'm going to go with Bayfla which is my favorite ROM kernel so that's pretty cool now theme you have two themes that is AUSP theme and stock and a Samsung theme so I'm going to go with AUSP just for the heck of it because yeah I'm more of a stock theme guy but still uh, AOSP really makes me interesting. So we have DPI setting which is 240 DPI and 280 DPI and the 320 stock value. 240 DPI in my opinion is really too small. I have I've got a well I'm not saying huge hands but still uh, I can't hit buttons with 240. I'm going to go with 280 because it's a mix of both. It's in the middle. It's pretty cool. Launcher option you have Nova Launcher and Stock TouchWiz which is really awesome, great uh, if you are a TouchWiz guy you go go for it but since I have selected a USB theme I'm going to go with Nova Launcher to have a better experience with it now keyboard option you have bunch of keyboard options touchpad keyboard hackers keyboard and touchpad touchpad and hackers keyboard also Samsung stock keyboard I'm going to go with uh, touchpad and hackers keyboard because well, uh, mathematically it, it makes sense to me boot animation also you have four options one is none one is Samsung logo one is Archidroid legacy the other is uh, just Archidroid new boot animation fancy boot animation so let's see that one I haven't seen that so let's see now other options include Archidroid OTA so it does have OTA update tool or APK file so that you can have a uh, the options or apps through there and updates through there so that's pretty cool Xbox Frameworks is the latest version so you are not going to uh, miss that I'm, I'm not sure who doesn't use Xbox Framework everyone who has root option root access should use Xbox Frameworks that's just the way it is now Crossbearer is some kind of a uh, performance enhancing app 
which is similar to cedar but not compatible with it so if you're using cedar you don't use this so I'm not I'm using cedar so I'm not going to use that uh, update modem it asks you whether you want to update your modem or not I'm not going to select it because I already have the modem and I don't want any more trouble you also have a recovery flash option fills recovery which is well for me and all, for all the reasons I know the best recovery available is based on the clockwork mod it's compatible with everything so that's pretty cool I already have it I'm not going to flash it again uh, Google Apps you have inverted Google Apps I don't want any inverted Google Apps so I'm not going to select it but if you're into that you can use it so pretty cool uh, Google Calendar does replace uh, Samsung Calendar so I am not going to use that so pretty cool um, Archidroid apps, these are the third party apps which I talked about. So you have Titanium Backup, Greenify, really awesome. I don't need to talk much about Titanium Backup, everyone knows it, it's really awesome. Greenify app, again, uh, everyone knows about it, it really, really saves your battery, it's really an awesome app. Uh, kudos to the developer of that also. So, uh, LMT is like the Pi options available in Slim Bean for any ROM, so that's really cool. MX Player, the one of the best. <laughs> Probably the best video player for Android. Better battery says to see which all apps are taking away your juice. That's pretty cool. Cool tool is, uh, in my opinion, cool tool uh, really uh, eccentrifies the uh, Archidroid series. Every Archidroid ROM has cool tool, which is shown in the status bar with all the information. So that's pretty cool. Uh, root browser, Android Flash, uh, Adobe Flash Player, pretty cool. Inverted YouTube and inverted Facebook Messenger app. Archidroid tweaks, tweaks include uh, HD voice uh, while making a call and build.prop tweaks. Pretty cool. Let's go to next page. In the next page, you can select Boifla kernel preset, which are four. You have performance mode, power save mode, ultra power save mode, and no preset, just the stock Boifla kernel. I'm going to go with performance because I value performance more than battery life. So, yeah, uh, different for you guys. So we have we have selected Expose Frameworks, right? So you can install modules also from the Aroma package. This is something which is, this is the reason you should go with Archidroid. Uh, it gives you all the options from the Aroma package. You don't need to do anything else. You just download this thing and go for it. So pretty cool. Now the first next one is fast dormancy and uh, enabling. If you know your career doesn't support it, just uh, click fast dormancy enable so that's pretty cool zero wake up uh, is a CPU it's puts it will put CPU into sleep mode instead of deep or deeper sleep so it will wake up instantly it's pretty cool next so that is it and yes I don't have uh, Archidroid so I'm I was currently using another ROM Imperium ROM so it's it's detecting that what ROM I have and asking me if I have Archidroid or I don't have Archidroid so uh, yes I don't have Archidroid so that is it you just press finish and well it is finished uh, my camera hates to focus apparently so yeah you press finish and just enjoy this uh, I will be making a review soon so stay tuned for that um, see you guys next time bye